coming over. Freiburg is going to lead the charge as he looks to try and open things up on this banana nose. Olaf Meister is completely trapped behind the sandbags, but Olaf and Krims come in. They get a kill apiece, and ninjas in pajamas. They're being they're being executed oh, here on banana. I, I have absolutely no idea what is going on, but again, Olaf Meister just comes in big. It was two frags, but it was two very important frags indeed. That really should have been NIPs to take. Get right will fall. 15 to 14. We are going into round number 30. And how has this happened? 10 rounds in a row for Fnatic. The NIP economy is not great. They will be able to buy up here, but Fnatic is going to get his head dispatched off as well by Exist, and this is looking very likely that it could be another round in favor of the Ninja Unless Flusher can do something about it. He's knocking his players very low indeed, and he's actually been able to pick up Existing. He turns around, and out of absolutely nowhere, Flusher picks up the round. NIP got complacent. Well, they, they faced him one by Alu versus Prox. It's so tough. The defense was split up, and maybe, just maybe, Fnatic may get their first round on the board. It's oh Prox versus God. Alu, and Alu will win it. Smoked out from mid window there. With, you know, it, it was difficult for him to, to move, so he had to go into a, diff, a different situation, a different position even. But four on four, entry frag coming in from Olaf Meister to respond on Freiburg. Exist will lose that gunfight though right when he didn't need to. And Olaf Meister and Pronax are lighting up the A bomb site here as they secure that one man advantage. Responded by Forrest. Get right with the second one. Get right sprays. He gets two in a row. Will he get the third? <laughs> yes, he will. Hello, get right. The triple from the rotating man from that B bomb site. And a lovely retake there, Fnatic caught with their pants down and duly punished. Well, no one was watching CT spawn. Fnatic put this, or maybe he's gonna prove me wrong. Exist, first player exterminated for NIP. And Olaf knows what's coming here. He knows there were plenty of players over towards that B bomb site, and they're most likely going to try and cross double doors to rotate in. But Chewy, he's got this bomber with 15 seconds to go. He has to plant to keep this round alive. I just love that baiting there towards the mid doors. Olaf Meister expecting to over rotate and go oh, quickly. Oh. oh my gosh! Hello, Olaf Meister. That's a nice kill, but it will be responsible. Some credit as well for getting two kills mm. with the AWP. And Ninjas in pajamas. <laughs> They only need one more round, but easier said than done. This is looking a tiny bit scary in a way for NIP. Once again, their economy's broken, so we should see another 15 to nine scoreline actually, and things slowly but surely coming back towards Fnatic. But still, even then, you know, when they have that one versus two situation, they simply forgot the bomb. Hello, get right. That was a lovely shot. Oh, there's a lot of work to do. And look at the counter boost. JW still with the Max 7 in hand. Dispatches of Freiburg, not what NIP needed. No, this is nice from NIP. I think it was get right from the uh, T-spawn area who smoked down the mid connector. But as a result of JW's amazing aggression that we've seen time after time again, I mean, we're nine rounds in and he still is using this Mag 7. Yeah. He hasn't allowed NIP to execute, even though NIP oh really only gosh. had tech nines. This is JW. And Crimson Olaf Meister. Surely need a miracle now. That grenade, I swear it landed at Forrest's feet, but it only dealt seven points of health damage to him. That's all it did, and now this is tricky. But look at how low two of these NIP players are. This is going to be the key. Crims is going to spot out Exist there, evening up the situation. The clock is ticking, but they have the kit, and they have plenty of time to deal the damage. Freiburg with the Galil in hand. He's got to do something, and he doesn't, and that could be it. It will move, and they've got to move soon. In comes the flash. Crims fully flashed. Freiburg isn't going to check behind him, though, and that is a big move mistake indeed Freiburg not to check your corners because that really could have lost you the round exist also falls to the hands of Crims with that M4A1 in hand and a lot of work to do get right looks like he could come in to try and save the day here as does Alu as well but we're back into a one versus one 10 seconds to go Crims knows that this final, oh, this final nip shot. player had no choice and Crims really gave him that two-man lead now get right get in get nailed in the face and this is it the call has come in guys there's no way we're going to be able to make our way in towards b let's go towards a but jw seems to have things on complete lockdown great play from the wonder child next up has exist and alice trying to dispose with within the blink of an eye they get two frags of their own oh off is going to be flanking from behind in a great position no to capitalize time. pulls the trigger and gets the double spray down great awareness from him to push down banana Really, really, really quickly and back the rest of his teammates up. JW does jump straight in towards Connector. I'll tell you what, it'd be brilliant if they can get this frag onto JW. Get right, he's trying to get the jumping Glock and he will in the end. The burst fire comes in. Meanwhile, Forrest is popping heads left, right and center onto Olaf as well. 
And it's five versus two. NIP, surely they won't let this one slip. And they will hunt hey! Flusher down. And they'll Zeus him as well. 10-6 to NIP. To Freiburg now giving that man advantage in favor of Fnatic. They're all going to peek out one by one. And even though Get Right was able to get one player, the trade frag came in. Olaf Meister with another frag in this round. That's the double. And now it's all left up to exist. This in-game leader for NIP is going to find one. That's Olaf Meister down. And he must have heard JW there. He's coming up A-Ramp very, very quickly indeed. Exist sprays down. Does get the clutch. And that is round number six for NIP. Not if Forrest has got anything to say about it, though. He tags JW down very, very low indeed. And even on three points of health, he's still able to pick up that final kill. And now it's all left in the hands of Pronax. Pronax wants to fight on with 30 seconds to go. He's going to fake the bomb plant. Little does he realize that he's got a man to his left and a man to his right. Brunex will clutch! Three from him! And he will secure match point four for that.